Ripperino. Um, uh, but okay. Uh, so a couple of things. Okay. Where did that discussion come from? I want, I want to answer like a couple of questions that I've been getting and some people who, um, weren't able to listen to what I said after the debate and, uh, questions I wasn't able to answer because I wasn't asked them. Okay. So, uh, a, a couple of things. Firstly, Shark, where did this, where, why, why did you say, well, I, I think I understand now what, uh, Endless was trying to ask me, but like only like two days after he asked because he didn't a ask the question correctly for what he was trying to get at. But I'll answer that question now. When he originally asked me, what made you say this? I think what he meant to ask was, what do you mean by the words that you used? And so I would like to say one, one, uh, one thing, okay? There are many people who have many different feelings about the tweet that I made. Um, and that's fine. You can have those feelings. That's perfectly okay. It doesn't matter to me. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. It does not matter. Um, right? Uh, and some people will be like, you went like pretty hard on this person. And, the, and uh, my response to that is, yes, I did. Because uh, I think they deserved it. I don't think this person in this tweet mints their words at all. I think they meant every single word that they typed. Uh, when they say, I don't want my bloodline to end up like this. That's insane. And end up like this. We're not talking about a thing. We're not talking about um, a, 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 like, a, a, like, like a piece of property or just like something you do in your spare time. I feel like what's lost in this conversation is that we're ending up like hum we're talking about human beings. And what this person said is, I don't want my bloodline to end up like this person. I don't want this human at the end of my bloodline. That's insane. And I think that's just that that's a horrible, awful thing to say about a human being. And I feel like that's where we're like glossing over this so much when it comes to this. And honestly, if I'm going to tell you, I feel like I'm being tone policed when it comes to uh, people arguing about what I have to say when other people are agreeing, man, I, I don't I want to make sure that my um, but that my descendants never look like this person and are never this person. And there's nothing wrong with this person. Um, what they're attacking is a black guy's uh, happy family and naming and shaming his infant child. Like, can we at least understand that? That what this is all about is whether or not it's okay to name uh, for people online to name and shame a man, his wife, and their infant child? Because that's what all of this is about at the end of the day. is like naming and shaming an infant child. And calling them an abomination to like, and helping further the goals of white supremacy by existing that infant child who's lighter than their grandfather. And that's all, that's all that this is about. Right. Um, but on, on that note, I use the language I specifically did because I didn't want to mince any words. And I feel like a lot of people don't understand, but, um, uh, it's an insult. It's a, it's an insult. Uh, I feel like on, a lot of people man. don't really understand that. They haven't taken that into heart. But um, uh, what I said was simply an insult. That's all it is. Uh, on the internet, I guess if you're never on the internet at all, uh, you don't understand how when uh, it's just like common when somebody is displaying bad social behavior and bad public behavior that you just say that they're displaying um that they're displaying fatherless behavior like does everybody knows that image of like the the silhouette like a dad walking away and like pew, you know did like a, a thanos snap disappearing and the kid being like no papa and it goes fatherless behavior it's simply an ad hominem that's that's you're right it's just an ad hominem it's simply an attack on on you and your family because you ended up this way now if we want to talk about people actually ending up in poorly and things in your bloodline actually ending insane people who agree with that tweet that's the though th that's how i don't want my bloodline to end up okay so this like tz guy and everybody who agrees with them uh, in this type of tweet that's how i don't want my bloodline to end up okay it doesn't matter if in the future my blood my my um my descendants are lighter and darker it does matter if they're bad human beings that's but that's just me you know maybe i just care more about 
whether or not the uh, the people who come after me that I helped bring into the world are good or bad people, as opposed to whether or not they're lighter and darker. But that, once again, that's just me. I may be the I may be the insane person there. I guess um, it's it's simply an ad hominem to say you were you're ex exhibiting bad behavior. Father, that's fatherless behavior because if you had a father you'd be displaying good behavior now is that factually accurate that everybody who makes a bad tweet on the internet uh, now automatically does not have a father figure are you stupid that's my only response to you really is um the question is uh of are you stupid uh so i'll just leave that there um i also think it's jealousy uh, as well, uh, a little bit. I also threw in jealousy there as well. Uh, and people twisted my words from like jealousy of like this happy family being happily happy, which I also explained in the tweet, which is you never experienced a happy family. Fuck you. Um, to me, meaning I'm that that me making fun of black women for being jealous of black guys having white uh wives or something once again i just have to ask you are you stupid because that's the only possible way that i can imagine somebody jumps from me saying you're experiencing fa you're showing fatherless behavior you also cannot read and so i'll just add something on top of that if you're a black person and you got that reading from my tweet i have to tell you i know co covid has been around for a while I know some of you may not have gotten all the education that you needed, but you need to start like learning how to read because you're fucking illiterate. And the way that you go about the world is actively dropping the black IQ, um, stopping us from reaching the same, uh, stopping us from being one standard deviation down uh, in an aggregate from from like uh, the, 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 the white population. OK, you're holding us back. You're holding us back. OK, you're the weak link and you need to stop um you're you're a bad person stop all right it's very easy to understand i wasn't talking about black women in this situation at all actually they weren't brought up in the slightest i was simply saying that don't don't worry about other people having happy families if they're not doing anything wrong another per, another thing people are bringing up is that they're asking me where the um prescription is for this sort of like uh thing that's being made um, and I once again asked the question, like, what do you mean? What do you think he meant by like, this is insane? Um, if this happened in any other way about any other thing, when they say this is insane, we would all 100% understand the reference that they're making. It's not, I'm sorry, when you look at like a black person and a white person and their lighter skinned baby and you go ellipses, this is insane. It is stupid. Um, it is charitable to a fault if you go oh see what they really meant is what's really insane is uh the multiple hundreds of years of uh white supremacy and uh the like slave owners uh sexually assaulting their slaves and how this plays a massive role it's shut the fuck up nobody who reads this comment believes that Okay, stop it. You're a nerd. You spend so much time with your nose stuck in a book. You forget to pick, pick yourself up and smell the roses, okay? Because you have no clue what the real world is like. If that's genuinely what you believe that this shit, uh, that this fucking tweet is about, okay? You're out of your damn mind. If you actually believe that, I'm sorry. Maybe it's because you've just spent so much time reading and writing like fucking, uh, your, your average person doesn't tweet and like, uh, post grad, uh, thesis papers from like uh, U UCLA. Okay, your average person doesn't doesn't speak in like socioeconomic language and uh, uh, and 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 thesis papers from Harvard. That doesn't happen. These are normal human beings having talks with normal human beings. It's very obvious in the way that in which they're speaking which is, this is insane, dark person to light person, and they're related. That's all the thing that they're saying is insane. If you believe anything else, you are a stupid person. You are a gullible person. You are somebody who will be easily tricked and fooled. You are an idiot to people who are smarter than you, and they will always use you 
to get what they want as you flounder about and your stupidity and they're going to use you as a stepping stone. And honestly, if you do not change your behavior, you deserve it. Not come. It is insane to me to think that this is something that people actually unironically believe. I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to accept it. I'm sorry. That's not happening. Um, people, people who agree with my like debate opponent in that debate and people who may be on the fence about it as well. Shark. These types of people love to talk about and harp about one particular thing in the tweet. And this is, and that part of the tweet is when I know that looking back is when I, is, is uh, especially seeing it, like his facial expressions, facial expressions, when I know that um, uh, uh, Endless stopped listening to me. That's when I knew the debate was over. Like, I what was it, like five minutes in where he asked me, um, uh, whether or not I care if whether or not I'm going to push hard to make sure that black people breed in the way that I um that I want to make sure that there are specifically darker skinned people in the future. And I said, no, I will not be advocating and coercing black people into breeding in the way that I want to make sure that there are darker skinned people in the world. And he was like, that's why he was like, Whoa, Whoa. when he when he started to make those facial expressions and I went his chat was like, what's happening? Um. That's when I knew that he actually, that was where his brain shut off and he stopped listening to me. Anything that I said, anything in the conversation, that's when he gave up, okay? Because let me tell you this about these types of people, okay? They are, they require people who are like them and listen to them to fall directly in line. And if you're not in line, they'll try to whip you into line. And if you won't be whipped into line, then there's something wrong with you and you are now a, de in a, a less valuable human being and or something. They may not use these words, but you are a race traitor, basically. We come together. That's what that's what they're saying. OK. And so let me substantiate that a little bit. If you've ever seen if you've seen anything that people on like my debate opponent side or things that he's said, like after the debate, every single time he brings me up. Um, he, he keeps bringing up time and time and time again. And this is how I know he, that he stopped listening to me, me saying that I don't push much stock in for myself. When I think of my own personal experiences in the world, um, like when it comes to things that are important about me, that I care about for myself, like in my heart and my soul, what do I care about that like that my skin color and my blackness in and of itself is low on the list of things that I personally care about. Now, I feel like I've explained this time and time and time and time again, that what I mean by that is that I can easily understand how my identity, how my heritage, how my skin color, how my race and or ethnicity can play into how people treat me and view me in the future and today. I can understand that. But simply because other people put it on a higher pedestal does not mean that I am now going to put on a higher pedestal. This is what I meant when I kept saying the term, cut your nose to spite your face. I'm not going to move things down in the important things list to me, my, my religion, my family, my friends, my pets, my hobbies, things that I enjoy, things that I made and put together in my life that makes me a unique human being. I'm not going to now drop everything in my life and put like my skin color as now the top important thing to me simply because racism exists. That's not going to happen. Now, I also explained later in the, de in the debate that I don't have a problem with other people doing that. That's their life. And not in simply because that their their blackness is higher on the list of things that are important to them in their own mind for themselves not for society i'm not going to tell them to move that down it's not important to me i do not care i, I couldn't give a shit less about what you do in your own personal time doesn't matter um but they took it as me like feeling like i i now that's that's like a massive issue for me or something it's not it 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 does not matter at all um in any way shape or form um 
but now since that I've I've said those words, which is because I'm not going to like genuflect at the altar of white supremacy and now change the way in which I want to live my life outside of just keeping myself, my family and my friends and my chat safe. Um, it now I am uh, now I there's something wrong with me and I care less about black people and I am a worse black people, uh, a worse black person to them. That's what they believe about me. OK, and I know this for a fact in like DMs um, when when they're together, when they speak, they use slurs towards me. They are hateful towards me. They think I'm harmful for the black community. They think I'm I'm wrong and I'm like Candace Owens adjacent or something along those lines. Or if I'm expressing some sort of like survivorship bias or something, it's all of these certain things um, because they stopped listening. They hear me, but they're not listening to me. And because I said something out of line that they would not agree with, they now believe that I'm not worth listening to or caring about outside of changing me to form them in the way that they feel is the most fit because I'm not good enough as who I am myself. Um, that's what I've under, that's what I've understood about this entire situation. Um, and that's what I'm going to have to deal with. Many people ask me why I spend so little time speaking to other people and being around like other people, um, when it comes to this space. And this is a massive, reason why I have to deal with explaining I have to deal with like white people and other people on one side being like wow you're wow you're the th saying shit like oh you're so articulate or wow you uh, you're like the least black black person I've ever I've ever met um and people on the and people on like the 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 more like black side always analyzing me and putting and putting me under a microscope to um uh to 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 seek out uh flaws and chinks in the armor of my blackness that makes me um uh, an issue or problematic or um a blight that must be removed right there's something wrong they want to analyze like how many um like compared to like white or and or like a darker skin girlfriends that i've had all right the answer to that question is it's none of your fucking business and i wouldn't answer that question either in in a debate or like a, a conversation around these types of people, because no matter what answer I give, I know it's not going to be good enough. That's that's that 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 that's all that I know. And now that I've gotten a little bit more information about how they think, I'm not even sure that I could be nothing that I could say would satisfy them, because I know like a lot of my girlfriends apparently, even though they would be black, they wouldn't be black enough, right? Because I just happen to live in a um. Because for one, I never spoke to that many people when I was younger, um, leading to me not having that many relationships in the first place. And two, um, in the relationships that I have had, it's been with a lot of like mixed people or, uh, or even like some uh, white people as well, because I live in a like 70% like white area. Okay. I think if I remember correctly in my school, there were like, there, there, there were like, with like a handful of black girls and I knew not I wasn't going to be able to uh, well for one I wasn't going to have a relationship with any of them and two I know for a fact that we wouldn't have been able to get along or anything um that's just like kind of how it works uh that's fine not everybody you're not going to like work out with everybody and that's okay I think they see you um I think I think they think you see yourself as colorblind race doesn't matter um, and that race doesn't affect anyone. Yes. And this is why I'll say like time and time again, that these people are fucking stupid and they have very low listening comprehend. They have very low comprehension skills. Um, all of them do. They have incredibly low comprehension skills and they need to learn how to listen more. Okay. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be misunderstood by fucking 30 year old people, um, online. Uh, and have to and feel the need to explain myself constantly to them uh, to justify why I deserve having the subscribers that I have and having the uh, clout that they suspect that I have and things along those lines. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Um, but I am not colorblind. Um, that's how I know for a fact they don't know anything about me. That they think that I think that I'm colorblind or think anything about colorblindness um, because they haven't watched any of the segments in which I've spent ad nauseum talking about how I don't um uh believe in colorblindness and even specific segments about why colorblindness is an issue 
And the whole like, I don't see color thing is a massive problem. I see color. I just devalue it for myself. It's not important for me. I can understand how it's important for other people. But me and myself, those are two entirely different things. But the th problem is, once again, they don't care to listen to me. They heard what I said, but they didn't listen to it. Um, and that's why I'm not going to be speaking to any of these people anymore. Um, they think lesser of me. Uh, they think that I'm like a race traitor or something. They think that I'm like harmful uh, to black people. And they think that I'm, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I have a... And, and like, he's uh, like endless has said himself that I'm going to be like sitting in a hug box of my white audience, gaining their uh, white approval for my blackness or something, which is um, quite insane to me, even though I know for a fact I have a, a very diverse audience, um, especially compared to other creators. But apparently that doesn't matter because once again, whatever I say and whatever I do is not going to be good enough uh, for a lot of these people. Remember that. Um, and for a while I thought that maybe I could convince some of them, or maybe if I just spoke enough, it would be able to fix it. But I realized in the end of the day, the answer is no, I cannot. Um, and I've said it before, but I, I forgot, but, in, but I forgot to actually abide by it, which is not to have your life be ruled by stupid people. Um, that, that's the issue to not to not allow stupid people to change the course of your life because that's a stupid decision to make to listen to stupid people to change your life um and a lot of them keep saying time and time and time again that i'm like the uh the biggest black creator in this space i've never thought of myself like that um but now that they keep saying it i i was debating for a little while to to do the uh you created a monster type thing like i'm going to now be tweeting more like this and i'm going to be making you more upset and every single time you see a tweet that makes you upset i want you to remember i had you specifically in mind uh just so i can make you mad when you say this uh when, when i say this but then i i was like i don't but that was like but that was just me feeding into the petty that was just me feeding into the petty and as good as it feels to feed into the petty i know at the end of the day it's kind of like what they want right for too long, I've, I've allowed a lot of these people to live rent free. And so it's time, I think, for me to uh, the, to start filing ev uh, evictions, uh, I think. So I think it's time. Um, and, and a lot of them say, yeah, like, like I said, a lot of them say I'm the, like the biggest black creator in the space. And I feel like and that's why I changed my um, and that's why I changed my uh, my my uh, my handle on Twitter. It's uh, we're on the King Shark Arc. OK, so I'm going and like they say, I'm the biggest uh, black creator. So it's time to get on the throne. All right. And I'm not going to worry about what they have to say about me anymore. I'm not. I, I'm got. I got to move on. It's, it's what has to be done. It's what has to be done. So. We we sit we sit upon we sit upon the obsidian throne, and uh, enjoy our our time uh, with everything that we've been able to put together. Being um a, 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 be, being top echelon of black creators, especially in this space, um, and so and so yeah, that's what I want to do. Really moving forward, that's like important for me, um. And stop like trying to justi justify myself and my blackness or everything to these like weirdo freaks on the internet who have no stock in like who I am, who care not for like where I come from and who don't care to listen to me at all. Right. Um, Cause even like after in like the after discussion for all of that, I even explained how like I've, I've had experiences where I've like experienced racism or bigotry or something along those lines before I knew they wouldn't give a shit about that. They don't care. Because once again, they've already stopped listening. So it doesn't matter for them what, what I am or what I came from. Because I'm already not good enough. I'm already, I'm already a, a, like a, 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 an anti-black race trader to their minds. So who's, um, uh, who's enjoying shitting on the black community to get money from white people. So fine. Um, that being said, uh, you also are experiencing fatherless behavior. All right. I'm sorry. That, that's what I have. That's what I have to tell you. Um, and, and once again, some people are like, that can be that can be like harmful. And that's fine. If you believe that, that's OK. For one, I disagree. And two, I think that I should be able to say things along the lines of 
this woman is crazy. Here, let's say, I understand that there is a long history of men uh, trying to devalue women's opinions by calling them too emotional or too crazy. Sometimes bitches are dumb. I do not support all women. Some, some bitches are very dumb, okay? I do not support all black people. Some of those bitches are very dumb. I do not support all marginalized groups. Some of those bitches are very dumb. And I'm not going to just listen to them and take up their opinions just because they're, they're of a certain minority group. Some of you are very, very stupid. And because of that, I'm going to be devaluing your opinion. Um, and to think that that's like a bad of me to do, remember, you've already devalued me. You're the one who's devalued me before I devalued you, okay? That on top of the fact that I feel like so many people have already, like, disregarded in, in like, the conversation. Like, the for me, the crescendo of the conversation where I asked if, like, you're helping, you're helping or hurting more. Um, you're helping white supremacy more or you're, uh, uh, or you're helping less against the fight against white supremacy when you have like lighter skinned children and and the answer was yes you are you're playing into white supremacy by doing that you are completing you are completing the goal of white supremacy to have lighter skin children you you are helping that along and i feel like so many people just kind of skimmed by that and just like they didn't they didn't care or like they didn't hear it or something, which was for me, it was like pretty insane. But OK, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just like the debate brained, uh, 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 uh wacko, uh, wild person, apparently. Um, I guess I'm sorry for that. It's just kind of it's just kind of ridiculous. I am um, as an insane take. It is. It, it do be. It do be. I mean, I, I clipped it. We can. We can take a look at it again. And this isn't even like a clip chimp. And don't say it's a clip chimp because I can't believe you'd be bringing up such anti-black rhetoric to call me a clip chimp. Yikes. Dark Comparing a black hard. person to a monkey. Yikes. Anyways. You think it's weird for people to have any type of stock in what their children look like and the family members that they have their children with, right? Um, I, I do think it's weird. And the more militant you get about it, the weirder it gets until it reaches peak i would agree you're a bad person i would agree in a vacuum the thing is that we don't live in a vacuum we live in a culture and a society that actively devalues dark skin sure wait there let me let me ask there. this question i want to i want to switch it around do you think sure. that if you specifically have dark skin children are you fighting back against white supremacy yes because you're procreating more dark skin people so you're doing the opposite of what when you, you make do. more dark skinned people, you're fighting against white supremacy. But when you make more light skinned people, you're not helping white supremacy because those kids are still black. But you said, well, dark skin is what was was the important part for you, right? Yeah. OK, so they're not dark skinned, would they? Would they be? The likelihood would be low. Between a black person and a white person? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, but the, okay. that kid would still be black at the end of the day. Okay, so w once again, you're you're telling me you would be fighting against white supremacy to have dark skinned children, but you would right. not be helping white supremacy to s when you have light skinned children. Black people having children at all is fighting against white white supremacy. Are you not helping as much? Are you helping less, or are you hurting more than somebody having dark skinned children? you are for okay so in terms of black people you're not really it's like neutral because if you're a black person your kids are going to be black that's what blackness but is we're talking right? about dark skin here okay so if we're talking about dark skin people on an individual basis it's kind of inconsequential but yeah if you as a whole as a group if the majority of dark skin people decided that they wanted to have kids with lighter skin people for whatever reason, then that would be the completion of the goal of white supremacy, whether they were conscious of it or not. So you can, so anybody listening, you can just like, you know, you can run that by me again if you've heard that and you hear something like completely different. But to me, it seems like 
what that what was just said is for whatever reason that black people in the future, whatever reason, whatever that reason may be, under God's great any reason whatsoever, if on average black people are lighter than they are today, then that's completing the goal of white supremacy. And so by extension, you having lighter skinned children is you helping along the goal of white supremacy. The problem is people like Endless and other people who agree with him well, they love the f the former, but they don't want to agree with the latter. It's very easy for people to do this, and I want all of you guys to be able to pick up on this, because what this is, it's a common case of trying to deny the logical conclusions of the things that you actually believe. Because it doesn't feel that good. It's great to say things that you uh, actually believe, but then when people ask you, well, what happens when you actually implement that, or what does that mean downstream for the people who are affected by that and then you sidestep the issue you see a lot of republicans saying uh, using this type of uh, language in this idea as well and i want you to also pick up on how like in if, if you actually watch the debate in earlier in the debate he said specifically what matters here is darker skinned people but then you saw that he was wriggling really hard when I was trying to ask him specifically about darker skinned people becoming lighter, how he was switching from dark skin to black to dark skin to black to black to dark skin to black to dark skin, dark skin black, because it felt because it was not um because I was it was uh it was uh, you uh, I was I was getting closer to something that he felt uncomfortable about answering, like the actual logical conclusion of his political philosophy. And I just think a lot of people just don't pick that up, which is very worrisome to me um, uh, that that that's something that could like go by where I was specifically asking how like dark he, well, how he said earlier, darker skinned people is what like really matters here for this conversation. And then as soon as I asked about the darker skinned people, we instantly switch to like black oh but like they're black so it doesn't really matter but then earlier i was like i was talking specifically about black and then he was like no it's not the blackness that really that matters it's the specifically darker skin thing that matters it's just kind of ridiculous and i'm i'm tired of like playing playing games with it or thinking that it's just like that that i should uh, that i'm the one in the wrong in this situation for asking the questions that i did and for some people even saying that i'm um that i came in like uh, too mad or like childish or like heated um, when I simply didn't care to ask like how his day was I wanted to like get done the conversation that I that I, that I, that I like was there for um, and things along those lines but whatever I guess there's some people that whose minds you actually just cannot change and you should not be worrying so much about that and so I've sounded chill to me yes I know, right? It sounded they so now the the thing that a lot of them are going for are go, being like, ah, you mad? Oh, Shark was so mad. He was so triggered in that debate. Oh, he was so triggered. He he didn't even listen. And they even said that sometime in the debate, I I gave up and started just memeing. Like me asking for asking about the logical conclusions about your political philosophy is apparently uh, equivalent to me giving up the conversation and memeing. I think that tells you a lot about the type of people that I was speaking to. But yeah, that's entirely it. I think that's, unless anybody else has any um things that they wanted to add or say uh, along those lines, uh, that's like, that's all that I really have um, in, in, in regards to the conversation uh, entirely. I wanted to just talk to you about that a little bit. Um, finish like a little wrap up of everything. And uh, we'll be moving forward uh, from there. Right? So that's what, that's what we're working on. And yeah, also I didn't, I didn't, talk so oh also some other people are going to um thank you for reminding me some other people are going to be like shark you didn't like hit on the idea of like why race because like there's very tenuous um uh there's very tenuous uh uh connections between like the goal of white supremacy and the enlightening black people um i didn't touch on it because i could defeat the argument without while even buying into that like well, while not challenging that idea specifically like I could beat the uh the argument without like 
worrying about it and that would get us into something else and so by not worrying about it i could talk about other things and we were able to have that like crescendo moment of the uh um discussion where i was able to um put together all five pieces all five pieces of exodia my grandfather's debate has no bad arguments endless but anyways um that's that's what we're like working on uh really now my discussion with aston mac if you guys heard that you guys would have think thought that i was like very mad but i also said specifically i was angry when i when i already went in i think that was like with my discussion with aston mac it was like the first time i was ever that's what i've been waiting for that's what it's all about it was the first time i was ever in a discussion and i was grinding my teeth I noticed that I was grinding my teeth and I specifically asked that I, we, need, we need to end the conversation here because I'm just too angry at the moment. We but yes, thank you so much, um, uh, Smugbug. Smugbug, that's a cute name. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. He, I also realized that, because I didn't watch his discussion after the debate, I didn't say anything too crazy about him. Um, I will now, but earlier, like right after the debate, he brought like the child, which is Bing Princess on to like speak and like get mad or something and call me like a race trader and like a racist i guess um he also said that like my he also inferred that my audience was racist as well um because he was because during the debate he was followed by two people one with a racist name and the other with a racist name and he was like during the debate i got these two people who are racist to follow me to very curious don't you think which is which i was like okay i see I see. I, I see what they think. Th this is like the main reason why we're not going to be talking to these people anymore, because they're actually batshit crazy insane. They actually think that I have an audience full of racists um, who attack other black people uh, for like disagreeing or something. Wild, it, actual insane shit coming from these people. They're, they are actually genuinely crazy that that's like that he was going to put that on me and say it's my fault um uh a, a a bink bink child uh agreed as well um and yeah I'm, I'm good i'm good i'm i'm not i'm not talking to these freaks anymore um it's not happening um i i am sick of it and so i i only hope that my continued success makes them more and more upset um because they you know what at the end of the day they hate to see a black guy win in that's the that's the real thing that we can take from all of this, okay? Is that at the end of the day, people like uh people like Dink, uh uh Dink Princess, people like Endless and all of their followers, they just hate to see a black guy willing at, winning at the end of the day, especially if he's winning in a way that they disagree with. So I don't I don't know I don't know what to call you. I I I don't know what to say to you, partner. Really? That, that's all I have to say. Wasn't interracial marriage illegal in the United States until Jim Crow? Yes. And also like mixed race. And even during slavery, the mixed race people were not look, looked up upon. That, that wasn't like a good thing. <laughs> also, like another thing is like somebody, I said that Bink was a child. Um... And somebody like quote uh, like tweeted at me, and they were like, hmm, "Only a little bit of reading would have told you that this is factually incorrect." And it was that like that person turned eighteen like four months ago or something or less. And I was like, "Do you think that you just just turning eighteen means that you're not a fucking child?" Hello, hello. And then when they were on like Demon Mama stream, they're like, "Hi." Um, I do like thigh, uh, I do like thigh, uh, streams. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? This is like the goddamn bad bunny, uh, birthday only fans type shit. And people are like, not a child. Get the, get the fuck out, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Don't you, who do you, how dumb do you think I am? How stupid do you think I am? Apparently quite to be able to, to think that they could pull shit like, like that, okay? You gotta wake up pretty early in the morning to get a black person on a, in, in the debate space with some shit like that, okay? Maybe they do think because I'm black, my, you know what? Maybe I'm not the racist one. They're the racist ones for thinking that my IQ is so fucking low that they'd be able to uh, pass through an argument like that and for me to not be able to challenge it. That shit is insanity to me. That's wild to me.
Yeah, they're like, come, they're, they're like, come see my barely legal thighs on my thigh stream. Like, what the, what the fuck? Insane shit. Insane shit going on. Uh, she's actually two days from 18, not a child. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. And I'm the, I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad guy in the situation. Me. I'm the bad guy. It's an, it's actual genuine insanity. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Good Lord. I don't know, man. And the, uh, like the last, last thing here and the idea of like, I don't know, like family members are like racist. So don't have a, so don't have like a mixed kid. That's, I don't know. How do you think? Like, I don't know, man. That shit is insane to me. The sort of like, how do you think like mixed children feel about that? I, I just wonder if the, does that matter to you when, when you, when mixed children are walking around living their lives and you go, yeah, it's probably best not to have them if their aunt's racist. Like what the fuck? What the fuck? And the idea of not bringing them into the world is a worse is a is a better idea than just cutting off racist people from their lives it's like and then like here's the big thing that i disagree with like demon mama on because i think demon mama was like too too much of a kid uh, to handle too many much of a kid's glove but i didn't mention demon mama until this one in particular part and she can watch this she can listen to this whatever my problem with like her analysis was in that in that situation she brought up in the comparison of like trans kids and how trans and queer kids get disowned by their family and how like the suicide rate, the substance abuse, the, and all like negative aspects of their life goes up. That is completely unrelated to what we're talking about in this situation, wholly and completely unrelated. You know why? Because those instances of having like worse life outcomes isn't because one of their family members is racist or something. Those poor outcomes are a result of the parents disowning them and kicking them out of the house. That is a completely different situation than the parents dealing with um, bigotry within like their own family members. It's so wildly different. I was actually very surprised that she would even go there in, in that like this meme is situation. Real. It just didn't make any sense. Now, if you could like bring me research to say that um a, a supportive nuclear family household like a supportive like mother and father or like you know supportive like two parents um but uh but like a an uncle or aunt that's like mean to you or something like brings you down to the same like bad health and like social outcomes and like a uh, lifelong outcomes is being disowned by your nuclear family and getting kicked out of your house if, now, if you could bring me research that those two things are like the same or comparable, then I'd love to hear it. But until then, this is a completely ridiculous argument. I appreciate Demon Mama's uh, uh, concern with not trying to uh, uh, with not trying to um, be be too mean. But sometimes you got to sometimes you got to call a spade a spade, partner. And um, I'm I'm not going to be allowing allowing that to just like slide. Sometimes you gotta say bitches be crazy. Some bitches do indeed be crazy. All right. Anything. Anyways, what time is it? Seven thirty-eight. Uh, do we have any other questions on this or anything? Uh, or um, that anybody needed answered that I haven't answered? Um. I just want to uh, to touch on the uh the things that I've heard some people say. That's the reason why you're the number one black lefty uh, content creator. They they hate to see a black man winning. You know what? You know what this is? This is a symptom of crabs in a bucket. Okay? They be, they be failing. They be floundering. And they be hating when they see a black man winning.
you know this meme is very real you 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 escape a bad situation and all of a sudden instead of just being happy and and working on doing it themselves instead they just spend their time hating and trying to bring you down they're crawling from the woodwork niggas be crawling from the woodwork waking up mad early just to hate you you hate it you hate to see it you hate to see it notorious <laughs> notorious shark you can always say notorious s3z like those are my that's if you're looking for an initials initials for like the channel or anything i like to use s3z because it has like a decent it rolls off the tongue pretty well it's much shorter do you have a screen stream schedule i actually do i have a stream schedule I have ADHD. Music. Do I think that there's no criticism that's like um, substantial for my tweet at all? Nah. It's the same sort of criticism that you can have if somebody like calls like a, a like a woman crazy or something, and you can go, yeah, bro. You know, um, uh, we we talk about it sometimes. You know, um, you remember that like H and M thing where like H and M uh what made a shirt and it's called the it was like the coolest monkey in the jungle uh but like it was uh it, it was they put and they had a picture of like a black kid in it and everyone was like eh, i don't know about this one so like it, it'd be the same criticism there where it's just like technically not bad but it's bad looks bad looks weirdo uk stuff well i wouldn't say it's weirdo uk stuff because it was just like bad happenstance because they just they it, it's common for them to call little kids monkeys which makes sense because little kids are little monkeys um and there were like white kids in the shirt as well just people had a problem with like the one black kid that was also in the shirt and they're like this is this is not a good look which is fine that's a that's a completely perfect opinion to have that like this is not a good look that's fine i'm not gonna get mad at you if that's like your opinion like shark i agree but you probably could have worded it better this could play on some bad tones when it comes to things people say about black people that's okay i understand you okay i i understand it seems a bit much that's fine that's okay i understand i get it i get it i appreciate your input why aren't you bi? Um, mostly because I don't like to say it on uh on the bird app. When I need like ex when I accidentally do something that could be construed as like even slightly homophobic, that's when I say, um, actually guys, it would be so cool if I had like a femboy boy femboy uh boy wife, uh home home boy wife to cook for me and I can rail when I when I'm done streaming. Um and then chats like That's my streamer, right? And so, but otherwise, uh, I, I say that I'm straight. The perfect shield. <laughs> well, after they got off the call with you, they uh, uh, talk shit and showed horrible racist shit from the from the past. Yeah, I don't know because like they think I'm playing into it and, and shit like that. that. That's why at the end of the day, because they they hate me and I've, I've said it before. Like, I know, like, if they listen to this, they'll get really mad that I that I said that they think that I'm um, that I'm, I'm disgusting, like a waste of space race trader who's destroying black people and using them for money, even though they said that specifically when they get off stream and they're still live. OK. And they and I know they say worse shit in DMs and like use slurs against me. It's just it's just it's, it's what they actually do. They're like they're um, what is it? What's it called? Uh, they're cry bullies, basically. They're they're massive cry bullies. Like they had a massive issue with my tweet, and the second that I um, that I like stepped out of line, it's instant slurs, race traitor, horrible person, doesn't care about black people, you know. So projection, yes. Shark pull out the buy card to say all the gay slurs. No, I don't want to say gay slurs. 
I think my main problem was uh, how people are defending the idea of the hood. That's what I was saying. That's what I was kind of thinking, right? Like, is it just me or is it like, do I have any other black people here? But like, is it just me or like every time I bring up, man, every time I bring up hood bad, they're all like, I can't believe you hate black culture. What the fuck are you saying? The black culture is not hood. <laughs> what's happening? What, what's going on? I, like, I, it was wild to me. I I, I did the, I, I was talking to somebody else and I was like, what if I made fun of the hood? And they're like, well, that's because you're making fun of black culture. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was I was like I was like saggy saggy pants Gucci belt uh, uh Jordans bumping day lowrider and they're like yeah shark but that's just black culture what the fuck um <laughs> just I I am I am indeed becoming the Joker I'm I'm becoming the Joker I'm like that shit's just poverty dog they're just poor. Isn't uh, connotating black culture entirely with the hood it, 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 itself racist? Yes, it is. That's why I brought up the tweet and I'm like, what if I made a tweet and it was like a, a, Gu a Gucci Bell J saggy pants bumping day lowrider listening to rap music. And I said, I don't want to end up like this or my kids to end up like this ellipses. That's insane. And then for all of them to go, why does shark hate black culture? I'm just, ah! That's how I feel, right? That's like, that's that's like the only thing. <laughs> that's, what the, that's the only thing that comes to my mind, which is just like a, a deep guttural screech. That's the only that that's it, you know. As it is. Should have brought up the Hoff twins. Put on the makeup loser. Stop. Yeah, I brought that up. I was like, doesn't everybody who come from the hood want to leave the hood? Nobody wants to be in the hood, okay? It's not a good place. The only reason that anybody shows any like respect to the hood is because they want to show like respect to the people that they grew up from and not want to that they grew up like with and not like completely shit on them now that they're not like poor anymore and are, we're able to leave. It's not because hood good, but okay. What do you think about the death of Dugan daughter? Fucking who? I'm so sick of racists jumping through hoops to say biracial people are bad. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. Listen, 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 okay? Pause the music, and this is the last thing here. I love, I got any biracial people in chat, okay? Big ups to my biracial people. You are, you are loved and you are wanted. Mad respect to the biracial people, all right? And remember, they're not coming. These people... You, they may think that they're attack. You may think that they're attacking me. They're not. They're not. Okay. They're after you. I'm just in the way. I'm just in the way. At the end of the day, that's all it is. I'm just in the way, and that's okay. I'm. I'm. I'll be here for you, partners. It's what it is. <laughs> 